Are you an office or team admin and you want to look at putting some lead routing into place? It's super easy to do. Just click on your email at the top right hand side of your dashboard and then scroll down and click on lead routing. It is right above the logout option. Now, when you open up lead routing, the first thing I want to make sure you are aware of is this ability for you to bypass the listing agent. By default, if a new lead enters KD Core from a listing, that lead is automatically assigned to the listing agent for that specific listing. If you toggle this to the right and it turns blue, because that's what happens when it goes to the right, you're actually opting to bypass the listing agent. So that indicates you're choosing to assign all new leads to agents within your office and or team regardless of whether the listing agent exists elsewhere in your company. Now, as a courtesy, please be sure your listing agents know if you've enacted this or not, so there's no surprises. Now, let's speak a moment to creating lead routing rules and views. Now, if you look to the top right-hand side, depending on your level of access within your entity of the brokerage, you may have different viewpoints available to you. I am a company admin, so I'm going to see the company as a top down. I'm also an admin within these two offices, and I'm also going to be able to see all of the agents within my brokerage. Now, from here, I want to create a company-driven lead routing rule. So I'm just going to click company. However, if I wanted to create a rule within a specific office or team, I could do so as well. Now that I've chosen company, I can click new rule, which is this green button on the upper right. Now, when this opens up, what we're thinking about is when a specific lead source lands within my entity, how do I want these dispersed amongst the people within my organization? So the first thing I need to do is think about what's coming in and where do I want to send it? So I may say whenever, something lands from our direct website or our office website, I want the following things to happen within my uh, group. So I can name this rule, routing for office website out of Warwick buyers, like Warwick buyers. And what I can do is identify the source of the office website. I can also identify if I want these to go out with if it's an office website tied to a specific hashtag or not. Or I can leave the hashtag blank. And then I can determine, is this really for buyers, sellers, or renters? Now I'm just going to go ahead and leave this as buyer. And then I'm going to click specify buyer search criteria. And this is really neat because it gives you the ability to actually get into a little more detail on the type of contact and dispersion. So you could say whenever someone lands looking at this property type of condos, multifamily, and single family, come in, in the area of Warwick, I want the following things to happen. I can even go as far as adding in a specific MLS source, as well as price, min, and max. Now, if I'm adding property types in and I accidentally hit commercial, it's no big deal, just as long as you go in and click this little X to get rid of it. You can do the same thing if you accidentally enter in a uh, town or an, a zip code in error. You just click the little X to remove it while you're setting it up. Now, from here, so far we've named it, We've set up the criteria of office website contacts that are coming in as buyers with these specifications. And I'm going to save my criteria. Now we can decide how we want to distribute this information. There are two options of the configuration distribution. The round robin, which is pretty self-explanatory. Things go out to agent one, agent two, agent three, agent four, et cetera. However many people you add in to that rotation. Or you can choose a blast, and I lovingly call this the Thunderdome scenario because it's a highly competitive setting. The blast is going to send out everyone that you have added to your distribution list at the same time, and the first agent to accept the contact is going to be awarded the contact. So they're all gonna get called at the same time. The first person to answer and accept the lead or text back or email back the acceptance gets 
believe. Or you can do a round robin which goes out in an order. So from here you can choose how you want it to be distrib distributed. And you can also put in some caveats of, well, if they don't answer and accept the contact, the new lead, within X amount of time, it's going to move to the next person. And if no one accepts within X amount of time, it's going to land on a default agent to accept and work the contact. So you have a lot of really nice safety features built in to be ensure that the contact lands within someone's dashboard. Now, the next thing we're going to do is look to the upper right-hand side, and this is how we decide who is going to get what for what type of rule. So we can actually add in agents here. And the neat thing about this is you can go in and adjust the order of so when we look at Kelly here, I can actually decide if I want to adjust her priority in receiving the contact with the little arrow. I can just move her on down to the bottom or to the middle or back up to the top. I can also go in here and set weights. Now this is especially important to know if you've got people who are rock stars and you want them to have those contacts landing and you also maybe have some newer agents of which you're uh, bringing into that lead rotation flow as well, you can give them different weights. So let's say I give Kelly a 70% weight. When I click out, the system will automatically adjust the remaining percentage. Or I can turn my weight off here on the upper right and rely on the priority list. Now, another thing you can add in before you've actually created this rule is saying, do I want a lender to come in on the process at this point or not? So you can actually add the option of having that lender carry on that new contact when it lands. So we can add Larry Lender, we can add Marie Mortgage, we can add Steve Rogers. You know, he's retired, looking to pick up some income being a mortgage officer. You know, we can add him here. And then before we add the rule, we can actually le read over this rule summary. So it's saying, okay, we've set up the routing for the website for Warwick buyers. It's going to go out to our agents via email and or text. So at this point, I can say, ooh, shoot, I need to make sure we call them too. So I can go over here and click phone on my distribution. And you can see it immediately updated to add phone. And we have it currently set to round robin for three agents. And we have the weights off. Our source of contact is the office website for buyer contacts in Warwick Town for condos, multifamily, and single family tied to this Hudson Gate multiple listing service. Now, right now, I have acceptance off. However, it's a good idea to look at making sure you have acceptance on to make sure it's going to rotate and roll through uh, to a, another agent if no one else accepts the contact. So I'm going to actually put a rule in place saying I'm requiring the agent to accept this contact within one minute or it moves to the next person. So now you can see it says acceptance is on. So that means if Kelly is unable to answer and accept the lead, it's going to roll to Aubin. If Rob Aubin can't answer and accept, it'll roll to Shane. If none of them can accept within 10 minutes, I can have them all land on Scott's dashboard to be worked. So now we have all of the information we put in previously. We can now see we have lead acceptance on and the timeout agent is Scott. Now we can add this rule. It'll take a moment for the system update. And now we have the routing for office website of Warwick buyers in place. For the office website, the information criteria, round robin, three members. And then you can always go in and edit this information anytime. If you have any questions, anytime it's also important that you chat with support at the bottom right hand side of your dashboard if you have questions on lead routing. Or you can check out our core learning portal by clicking the cap at the bottom left hand side of your dashboard and checking out all of the self-paced tutorials within. Have a great day.